Good morning, everybody. We Hi. are down here at Seoul Plaza, right in front of the huge Seoul City Hall building. The new one and the old one. And so, why are we here? Uh, today is the Korea Pride Parade and Festival. So we're here showing our support and uh, hoping it's going to be a really awesome day. Yes, and uh, this is, I think, really, really cool for a lot of people because back home in the United States, just uh, two days ago, it was announced by the U.S. Supreme Court that all 50 states, gay marriage is now legal. Equality, finally, we can just openly marry whoever we want because love is love, you know? Yay! Yay. And so it's, I think, really important to be down here now to support this event here in Korea because here in Korea, unfortunately, it's not as free to be um, gay or bisexual or queer or transgender. It's still kind of a very taboo thing for many people um, at this event. So I'm going to just kind of do a loop around. As you can see, there's a lot of tents and stuff. The event just started, so there's not a lot of people here yet. But it's going to be going on all day long. And uh, unfortunately, there are a lot of uh, Christian protesters just outside of this area. They actually barricaded this so that those people wouldn't come in here. And then there's uh, police guarding the area, so those anti-gay uh, protesters don't come into this area and harass our time here, our fun event um, for the people who we love and who we support. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So let's go ahead and uh, enjoy the day. Google Korea! Yeah! Step backward, two steps forward. 
I speak from personal experience, having been involved with LGBT activism for 21 years now. If I had had a child, the year I first became involved with LGBT activism, he or she would now be old enough to legally drink in the state of New York. And speaking of which, sadly, our campaign for a transgender rights law in New York State is still stalled in the New York State Senate 13 years after it was first introduced. But the good news is that we have made tremendous progress in the United States since I first became involved with activism in 1994, including enactment of the transgender rights law by the New York City Council in 2002 after a successful campaign that I led through Niagara, the New York Association for Gender Rights Advocacy. Our most spectacular victory came earlier this week when the United States Supreme Court ruled in favor of marriage equality. <laughs> guaranteeing same-sex marriage rights in all 50 states. It is my sincerest hope that the next time I return to Korea, that all my Korean brothers and sisters will enjoy the same rights to marriage. But of course, both here as well as in the United States, there are so many items on the community's agenda that deserve just as much attention as marriage. Youth and elders, police and criminal justice system reform, bullying and bias-based harassment in schools, healthcare access, immigration, etc., etc. There is so much more work to be done, but we're ma making progress in the United States just as here in Korea. And it thrills me to see the LGBT community come of age in the country of my birth. And what a truly great honor it is to address you on the occasion of my first return to Korea since I left here at the age of seven months. Even if I'd had any memories from back then, I would not have been able to recognize the city of my birth after half a century of dramatic change. When I left here, it wasn't long after the popular uprising that overthrew Yi Sing Man, and it's even possible that my birth father participated in that revolution. So perhaps I was born to make revolution. Less than a month after I left Korea, Pak Chung Hee came to power in a coup d'etat. Ironic, that I returned for the first time in 54 years, only to find his daughter living in the Blue House. So maybe there's another agenda item for change to consider. We need fewer princesses and more queens in power. We also need someone more willing to support the legitimate aspirations of the Palestinian people and thus willing to be complicit in the illegal Israeli occupation of Palestine. And the LGBT movement, which is becoming more global by the day, needs to embrace a global agenda of social justice for all, rather than confining itself to a limited agenda of legal rights for some. And Koreans need to embrace their LGBT brothers and sisters to make Korea truly a national family and home for all. <laughs> so my message to the people beating drums out there to protest this event is that they should be beating drums for freedom and not for oppression. for acceptance and not prejudice. They worship a God I don't recognize, a judgmental, homophobic, and transgenderphobic God who is the opposite of the God of love that I know. <laughs> Their hate may be strong, but our love is stronger, and love will ultimately vanquish hate. It is my hope that the next time I come to this event, the Ajima in Hanbox, <laughs> waving their Bibles at us and beating their drums, will be joining us to celebrate LGBT pride. And it is my hope that on my next visit to Korea, that the Seoul City Government and the National Assembly will have enacted LGBT rights legislation protecting everyone from discrimination. 
As the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. has said, the arc of history is long, but it bends towards justice. Thank you. Come Samira.
<laughs> okay, so look who we found. Hi! <laughs> She's very hungry, and yes. so are we. And we're all gonna go eat some Mexican, Mexican food. food. Yay. Yay! And so the parade is over. It was super awesome. Woo. And there was tons and tons of people. Uh, I have to say, like, two years ago when I went, it wasn't even like 10% of the amount of people this year. Yeah. In, um, two years ago in Hongdae. Yeah, it, it was like a nice event, but this year, oh my god, it was so amazing that that, that many people showed up and there were so many supporters and stuff yes. and it was just like a super, super awesome time today. Well organized. Yeah, the, like the police did a great job yeah. at, at like yeah. keeping everybody together and safe and so... Uh, Yay Korea! Yeah. Have fun Marie? <laughs> yes, I have too many things to say so I will say nothing. <laughs> I had a great time. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> what was your favorite? Thing. Uh, seeing like uh, some sort of level of critical mass coming together on this issue mm. was very uh, heart warming. Heart warming. <laughs> very moving. <laughs> yes. And so. Yeah. You got goosebumps. Yeah, it was uh, really hot, like 30 degrees, but I, stopped, I kept getting goosebumps from some of the things that were happening. Yeah. So. Mm. yeah. <laughs> Feels good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was nice to see the good turnout and how well organized the security was this year compared yeah. to last year. Yes. And um, with the people who were protesting, they really kept them outside so they wouldn't yeah. interfere with the parade. And compared to last year, I can see a big difference and I think that's a really good thing. Progress. Yeah. <laughs> Even cool. the bathroom was gender neutral. <laughs> yeah, it was it it's was a cool. gender neutral bathroom. It was just you go in, there were stalls and that was it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, we're gonna go eat. Yes. Thanks for watching this video yeah. and please subscribe, please like, please share it with your family, your cats and dogs, everybody. Yes. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.